Hello everyone and welcome to this video on recurrence relations. So in this video we want to solve the following recurrence relation in terms of n. Now I have this recurrence relation in the black rectangle here and it states that t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus 8 and then we have our base case that states when n is equal to 0 our function t of 0 is also equal to 0. Okay so let's get to work. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add two columns. One will be called K and it's going to hold our iterations and then the other one will be called T of n and this will show what our function T of n looks like at each iteration. Okay? Alright, so we're going to start off with iteration number one. So our K value will be equal to one and right now our recurrence relation just looks like the problem statement. So t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus 8. Okay, so to figure out what our function t of n is going to look like in iteration 2, we need to know what t of n minus 1 is. So I'm going to put here t of n minus 1 and it's going to be equal to t of n minus 1 minus 1 plus 8. And then if we solve this or simplify this, then we get t of n minus 2 plus 8. Okay, so now that means that we can plug in t of n minus 2 plus 8 for t of n minus 1 in our second iteration. So let's do that. So we're going to go to our second iteration. So our k value will be 2. And our function t of n now will look like this. So t of n will be equal to t of n minus 2 plus 8. And then we're going to add in that 8 that we had from above. Right? So this here is that there. All right, so I'm just going to go back and back. All right, so this is what our function t looks like at iteration 2. Okay, so now the question is, well, what is t of n minus 2? Well, we're going to do something very, very similar to what we just did previously in the previous step. So we're going to solve for t of n minus 2. So t of n minus 2 is equal to t of n minus 2 minus 1 plus 8. And then we're going to simplify this. So this is equal to t of n minus 3 plus 8. And now we're going to go to iteration 3 and rewrite our function t of n. So now t of n is equal to t of n minus 3 plus 8 and then we need to add the other two 8's so plus 8 plus 8 alright and we're going to keep doing this until we can see a pattern but I already see a pattern so we're going to stop here and we're going to basically come up with a general form so for some k iteration we're going to just call k here right what does our function t looks like? So for iteration k, our function t of n, we believe will look like this. So we believe it will be t of n equal to t of n minus k plus 8 times k. Right? Because at iteration 1, we had 1 8. At iteration 2, we had 2 8s. And at iteration 3, we had 3 eighths. All right. This is called, again, the general form. All right. So this is our believed general form. All right. So let's go to another sheet. I'm going to rewrite the general form.
All right, so we had t of n is equal to t of n minus k plus 8 times k. And I'm just going to double check that. Let's go back to the previous sheet. Yes, t of n minus k plus 8 times k. All right, so now we want to know, well, when, when will this stop? And to do that, we need to know the base case. So if we go back to the previous sheet, we can see our base case states that when n is equal to 0, our function t is equal to 0. Okay? So that means that we want whatever is inside of here, our parameter, we want it to be equal to 0. So let's go to the other sheet here. And here I'm going to put, we want t of 0 for the stopping case. And I'm going to put, so we need n minus k to be equal to 0. Right? We need this here to be equal to 0. All right. So let's do that. Also, this will also allow, allow us to get this general form in terms of n, OK? So if n minus k equals 0, then that means that n is equal to k. And of course, that means that k is equal to n. So this means that we can now substitute any value k that we see in our general form for the value n, or with the value n. All right, so let's do that. So now we get t of n is equal to t of n minus n, right? This is our substitution, plus 8 times n. All right, and now we can just, just simplify this. So t of n is equal to t of 0 plus 8 times n. And what is t of 0? Well, if we go back to the previous sheet, we can see that t of 0 is equal to 0. So this is equal to 0 plus 8 times n. And this is equal to 8 times n. All right. And... This is the solution that we believe is correct. OK. So what is this in terms of big O? Well, 8n belongs to big O of n. How do I know this? Well, one, I have lots of experience in big O notation, but I do have a few videos for you all if you are wondering how this is possible, showing what makes a function belong to big O of n. So you can check out those videos. I will leave a few links below in the description. And this form, 8 times n, is our believed solution so you're gonna to have to use some other technique to truly and fully prove this all right but in this case I guarantee you all that that is the actual solution all right so thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot please leave any likes that that you want to uh, for this video and other videos, it is greatly appreciated. Thank you all, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.